Brian's backyard experiment has been a success. He's ready to release his snakes. See ya later. Oh, that old. I've got another one to let go. I'm going to take him further down the flat so they don't eat each other. Among humans, cannibalism is reviled. But in Copperheads, Brian now admires cannibalism as it allows the snakes to exist and even thrive in their cold environment. I'm a realist. You know, there's got to be death for there to be life. And in his own quirky way, Brian thinks a snake seeing another snake as Tucker or food may even be desirable. The copperhead. What a great snake. It's taken chasing Tucker to a whole new height. Sees a mate crawling across the flat. He doesn't know where it's going to eat it or where it's going to make love to it. Hey, you beauty! No worries there, I reckon. If it's a bit ugly, it eats it. If it's a good-looking snake, it copulates with it, eh? What a way to go. Good one. Good one. No worries. See you later. Oh, it's great. 